favorite friend. So today, I want to talk about St. Nicholas the Great, or St. Nicholas the Wonder Worker. And I'm going to have my friend with me. St. Nicholas is also known as a patron saint for sailors. Some people say that St. Nicholas... Uh, she went it down. That St. Nicholas might have been a sailor or a fisherman himself. It's more likely, though, that one of his family businesses involved managing a fishing fleet. So when his parents died, St. Nicholas received the inheritance, but some people say that he gave away his inheritance to charity. St. Nicholas had a habit of giving money and things to people to help them out. He passed away in December of 343. The year 343, that was a long time ago. So on December 6th, we remember St. Nicholas the Great. One cool story about St. Nicholas the Wonder Worker is about a time that he helped some sailors. So the story goes that there was a ship in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. It was caught by a storm and it was stuck in shallow waters. Shallow waters means you're really close to like the bottom of the ocean or maybe some rocks and the boats get stuck. So the sailors were unable to move the ship and to get it back into deeper water. There's a story that St. Nicholas, and at that time he was a bishop in Myra, okay? So at that time he was alive. So the sailors, knowing about St. Nicholas possibly helping them, they called on him for help. And even though they were so far away from, away from him out in the ocean, they believed that St. Nicholas might be able to save them. St. Nicholas actually appeared on the ship. He gave the sailors a helping hand like he was actually there. Together, they retied and strengthened the ropes that were holding the masts. And the masts are those big, big wooden poles that hold the... The sail is it called sails? They're called sails because you go sailing. <laughs> yeah. Then they took some other poles and they pried the ship away from the rocks that they were close to. And they were able to get the ship back into deeper water. As soon as the boat was free, the sailors were able to set sail. Then the image of St. Nicholas disappeared. What? He came and then he vanished. They sailed the boat all the way and docked it at a harbor. And they got off and they started to look around for a church because they wanted to be able to give thanks to God for rescuing them. It just so happened that that harbor was in Myra. Remember, that's where St. Nicholas was a bishop, in Myra. They made their way to a cathedral, and they saw a whole bunch of priests, and then all of a sudden, they saw Bishop Nicholas. They recognized him. So they walked up to St. Nicholas and asked, how did you hear us? How did you come to us and give us help? St. Nicholas said that if a life is devoted to God, it allows a person to be so clear-sighted as to be able to actually see those who are in danger and to hear their calls for help. The bishop urged the sailors to devote their lives to God and thereby they could help people in need. So the important thing to remember is we're supposed to devote our lives to God and that hopefully by devoting our lives to God, he'll help us be able to see when others need our help. St. Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Bishop of Myra, and Patron Saint of Sailors. Ahoy!